State of emergency, ladies and gentlemen. Stay around and we're going to examine part two of the crisis surrounding the Australian bushfires. This is a terrible tragedy that's happening here down under and we're asking the difficult questions here on the report from Tiger Mountain. People are constantly worried about global climate change. That's one of the most common questions you hear in relation to these, uh, the national catastrophe of these fires. I'm more worried about the global criminal elite. What the hell are they up to down here? You know what I mean? What's going on with these fires? I mean, one of the first things that struck me about this crisis when I saw the map of where the fires are, I just said, this is coordinated. You know what I mean? This feels coordinated. This is not just like, I don't know, like a few lightning bolts or a couple of kids with the boxes of matches who decide to go out in the country. I mean, this is just, there are hundreds of fires burning all across this nation. It's very, very suspicious what is going on. I mean, you know, the question I first ask is who the hell are lighting these fires? And it's one question you're never seeing in media, even though media has admitted that 80% of these fires are being lit by arsonists. I mean, that is the main cause. I mean, you know, I mean, if you're going out on a really hot day you know, where the weather is catastrophic for bushfires and lighting one, that's the fucking cause. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. So, you know what I mean? Like, and, you know, I've, I've yet to see a person's name, actually someone's name in media that, oh, this person has been, you know, even though there's been like at least 100 arrests or something, or 50 to 100 arsonists have been arrested around Australia. Some of them are actually um, fire, fireys themselves. Um, you know, I mean, I don't know, are these people being bribed to, to light these fires for the globalist elite to push this new agenda? I mean, it's all very suspicious. We want to know the names. You know, are there any connections between the arsonists? Are there things linking them? And this is constantly the story of three teenage boys or three 12 year olds. I mean, how, 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 many, how many of those are there around Australia? I don't think, you know, three 12 year olds with a box of matches are burning this country to the ground. It's all very, very suspicious. And if you look at something else, there's a great article online. It shows basically the fires along the uh, coast of New South Wales and the Victorian tip down to Melbourne match pretty much the, um, the direction of where they want this new railway line. Um, this new super railway uh, thing. So that, that itself, again, is very suspicious. Is something else going on here? And there's some agendas that kind of play into this. Um, there was uh, Agenda 2030, which is a, a very nefarious agenda you should check out. I mean, are these fires related to Agenda 2030? And there's another thing called Smart Cities, which is where they want to move the populations of Australia out from rural Australia towards um, kind of massive super cities. Um, I think this agenda definitely feeds into that, and it's something that's very much worth investigating. And um, again, you know, this, is this narrative something that's being used to push the climate change narrative? Um, the, um, you know, the global warming narrative that we must um, all, you know, like pay much more for energy, um, reduce um, emissions down to zero and, and all this stuff. So I highly recommend you go check out an article online and uh, we can provide a link at the end of this video on this to an article called State, State of the Nation, um, Are the Australian Bushfires All About Building Smart Cities? You can see it briefly there, but um, we will put a link at the end of this uh, particular report so you can go check that out. So, you know, I think that's something we've all got to consider. I mean, it's all deeply suspicious, all this, I think. And I think there's something else going on. I don't believe, you know, the traditional narrative that we're being told. Um, I think someone is deliberately burning this country down, um, or at least trying to. And, um, and it's just, you know, there's just too many weird coincidences with ScoMo being away at the start and with all this lack of preparation. And also the left wing, you know, I mean, there's constantly, you know, the left wing thinks they're in heaven to some extent because, um, you know, they believe this kind of like proves their narrative of, of climate change and global warming. I mean, I mean, one of the major causes of all this is the lack of backburning, which is a left wing thing, you know. And there are even many Aboriginal elders who've come out and spoken out against um, the fact that there's been no backburning this year. Um, and this has been a major cause of what's going on. So to me, you know, it could be the perfect storm of human stupidity and human error, but it also could be deliberate. And I think, you know, we need to ask these difficult questions. And I just wanted to raise some of them um, today uh, in part one and part two of this uh, special report from Tiger Mountain, because I personally believe Australia is under attack. Um, by some nefarious force and we need to really investigate this because as you can see it is the worst um, uh, you know, Disaster in Australia's history. So I think it really deserves our, our attention or us. We're all in serious fucking trouble if you ask me So let's all get onto it. And let's investigate what's going on. You know get a Royal Commission onto this and let's investigate this um, This horrible event. I mean people are being burnt alive for whatever's going on. They've been trapped in their cars and, and burnt to a crisp It's absolutely hideous. So let's do something about it Let's fight the power and um, investigate this properly because it doesn't feel right.